Welcome to Advent Hasna Day 13. Lucky for some, unlucky for others. Today I think it's going to be lucky for everyone because it's Bujangasana. It's a beautiful back bend done from lying on your belly on the floor. So Rosie, if you wouldn't mind lying on your stomach. And keep your forehead on the floor and keep your feet and your legs together. Spread your toes and keep the squeezing of the legs like we've been doing. We've been building that strength in the legs right through this series of Advent Hasna. So you don't lose it now. And then in order to create a bit of space at the back of the pelvis, would you press your knees into the floor so your bum sticks up? That's it. And now you can see that the back of the pelvis has opened and now you could lengthen your tailbone down towards your heels and your belly will engage, your belly will lift and now take uh, a, a breath and get long from the corners of the hips up into your armpits, all the way up into your armpits. Bring your shoulder blades onto your back and now bring your arms by your side. I should have said that initially. So have your arms um, with your hands in line with your breath. So I didn't bring them back a little bit more. That's it. And then take a breath and get long again through the side of your body. Bring your shoulder blades onto your back. So already this begins to look like a strengthening of the back body. It already begins to look like a back bend. Press your feet into the floor and then on an inhale, lift from your belly, lift your chest, lift your head, keep your shoulder blades on your back, keep your elbows bent. You can even claw your hands back towards your pelvis without moving your hands in order to get more purchase of the shoulders on the back body. Keep your throat soft. And then smile, exhale, down you go. Allow your hands to rest by your side with your palms up and turn your face to the side. So a very, very simple back bend. There is some misalignments that are very common in this back bend. And if you wouldn't mind, Rosie, I'd just like to show those um, that misalignment and the misalignment is around the shoulders so you keep the legs strong lengthen your tail so your belly lifts get long through the side of the body bring the shoulder blades onto the back now ideally when you go up here's where your shoulders will stay and this is the top of Rosie's arm bone and the tendency will be that when we go up that the arm bone will take a nose dive down towards the earth and with it will come your shoulder blade on your collarbone and this is not a healthy place for your, um, for your shoulder. So Rosie, inhale and push up and do the straight arm that most people will want to go to. So push up into straight arms and don't let your shoulder blades come on your back, do this. Can you see the way the arm bone is rolling forward? She looks higher and it probably feels like she's doing a deeper back bend, but in fact all she's done is that she has dropped all of the onus of that back bend into her lower back. Not a good place to be, not a good place to be. So you have to like back off, back right back down, so that you come up with the awareness of your shoulder blades on your back. And that might mean that you only come up six inches off the floor, one foot off the floor, but not to straight arms. It's a process. Yoga is a process. Stay with it. Let's see it just once more with the shoulder blades on the back. Take a breath in. Bring your shoulder blades onto your back. Squeeze your neck. Press your feet into the floor. Lengthen your tail. Lift your belly and rise up. She's doing a brilliant job. And the more that she can keep the shoulder blades on the back, the more the chest and heart will open. Beautiful, Rosie. Exhale. Down you go. Turn your head the other way. Let your arms rest by your side. Thank you for tuning in again and we'll see you tomorrow.